Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Inspired by the ocean, today I will be showing you guys these amazing chocolate seashell cupcakes along with some mermaid cupcakes inspired by a Wilton do-it-yourself cupcake kit. These two are inspired by the ocean. I haven't been to the ocean in so long, I actually do miss it. I was actually thinking about visiting California or Florida or somewhere along the coast. So if you guys have a favorite vacation destination, leave a comment down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's make these cupcakes. Before we get started, you also want to make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Today I am using a Funfetti cake mix, so all you want to do is add your cake mix into a large bowl along with your half a cup of oil, your one cup of water, and your three eggs. Make sure not to drop any shells. Get it? Because we're making seashell cupcakes and you don't want to drop any egg shell into your batter. Maybe. Sorry, I tried. Then you want to go ahead and mix all of those ingredients together until they are well combined. The Wilton Do-It-Yourself kit actually came with these elegant mermaid cupcake liners, so I will be inserting those into my cupcake pan and filling each one two-thirds of the way full. Now just place it into your oven and these will bake for approximately 20 minutes. Now that the cupcakes are happily baking away in the oven, it is time to prepare our chocolate decorations to place on top of our cupcakes. So first we're going to start with the seashell decorations. This is actually super simple to make. All you want to do is melt some milk and white chocolate in separate microwave safe bowls. The simplest technique I'm about to show you is the microwave method. You want to place your chocolate into a microwave safe bowl, place it into your microwave and microwave it for 30 seconds. Give it a little gentle stir. Then you want to place it back into your microwave for 20 seconds. Give it another stir, give it another 20 second go, give it another stir, and just continue this process until your chocolate is completely melted. Make sure to continuously give it a stir every 20 seconds to prevent burning or scorching of your chocolate. Now, once both of your chocolates are melted, you want to drizzle a little bit of your darker chocolate all across your seashell mold. Then you want to fill the rest of it using your white chocolate. Give it a little tap to release any air bubbles. Then you want to place it into your fridge for approximately 20 to 30 minutes to settle. Our chocolates... Oh. Whew. I totally forgot to check on the cupcakes. I set a timer. I don't know why it's not working, but thankfully I remembered before they burned. <laughs> Now that our chocolates are done, it is time to work on our mermaid tails. And this is going to be the exact same process, except instead of chocolate, we will be using candy melts. You can definitely use white chocolate and just dye it various colors, depending on what colors you wanted your mermaid tails to be. But I'm using the candy melts that were included in the kit. So basically, just place your candy melts into another microwave-safe bowl. Microwave it again for 30 seconds. Stir it another 15 seconds. Stir it. Microwave for another 15 seconds and just continue until they are fully melted. Then you can go ahead and pour it into your mermaid tail mold. We're gonna place them into the fridge for about half an hour to chill and settle. Our cupcakes are cooling off and our candy decorations are in the fridge chilling. So now we're gonna prepare our frosting. So I had some leftover frosting from another cupcake video that I filmed earlier today. So I used that and I left one bowl of the frosting white and I dyed the remaining two bowls of frosting blue and pink in correlation with our mermaid candy decorations. Then I went ahead and filled each of my 12 inch piping bags with the three shades of frosting, then I cut off the tips of each one. Now into a large 16 inch piping bag, we are going to be fitting it with a 8B large open star tip. To insert the tip, you simply want to place your tip all the way through to the end of the piping bag, then you want to push it back ever so slightly Cut off the corner, then push it back through. Now you can insert your three smaller piping bags into your large 16 inch piping bag and your frosting is ready to go. So our little chocolates are all finished. I took them out of the fridge. They popped out of their molds very easily and look at how cute and delicious they look. So now that our chocolates and candy decorations are finished, our frosting is ready, our cupcakes are ready, it is time to assemble it all together. <laughs> so take your frosting and you want to start at the center of your cupcake, apply an even amount of pressure as you are making your way around the cupcake. 
then you can go ahead and add your sprinkles and your candy and chocolate decorations and you are all done. And look at just how beautiful and cute these little cupcakes are. I definitely hope that you guys give this recipe a try. They're super elegant, super fun to do with family, friends, and even children. So why not give it a try? As always, remember to keep things simple yet elegant. And if you enjoyed today's video, give a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell so you can be reminded of whenever I upload a new baking video. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye!